Brett Miller to the Rangers on us. Brett Miller. Where's your Irish friend? Sorry? She's still got two hours to do before her beach clinic duties are over. But she'll be here. She'd better be. It'll be dark in a couple of hours and it's got to be done during the day. Says who? Says me. You tell her if she doesn't front in the next ten minutes, she's copping another twenty hours. Got it. OK. OK, well, I'll, I'll give her a call. Hey, Jackie, you've run out of milk downstairs. Yeah, help yourself. And can you call a plumber and ask him to come and fix his tap? You just need a new washer. You don't need a plumber for that. No, I suppose Craig can fix it. You don't need Dad. You got me. You. Easy peasy. Leave it to me easy. Quickly, uh, I'm putting you on. I need you to score. Uh, but that's Hannah's job. She's not feeling well. I've let her stay in bed. Well, can't someone else do it? You are someone else, Tara. Come on! Sport. But, uh, the whole school's there. It's, it's a very important match. Well, then why aren't you there? Oh, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling well. Why aren't you in bed? I, I, I just had to collect something. What, you mean that lump of rock? What? Hmm. Titanium. Lead. Zinc. Wouldn't surprise me if there's copper in there, too. You can tell all that. Uh, would you like to know its exact composition? Well, yeah, but how? Meredith? Are you on the internet? Yeah, why? Look, stop hogging the phone line, OK? I need to get online. I'm downloading a program. Look, I've got to send an email. OK, how long's it going to take? About half now? I can't wait that long. What is it? A modified Magno spectrometer. <laughs> I built it last term. What does it do? It measures magnetic forces. You see, I can analyse exactly what any metal object is made up of. And it won't hurt us? No. No chance. Hmm. What, what do you mean, hmm? That's a high reading. It, it's usually between 4.3 and 7.8. This suggests a very unusual combination of metals. How unusual? Uh, I'll have to get my chart. Hang on. Cormac? Yeah, it won't be long. Look, Cormac, there's something you should see. Cormac, hurry! This is impossible. Hannah, move away. Move away. Hurry. Hannah, get down. Get down. What happened? The machine's obviously malfunctioned. Sorry, Hannah. I don't know why it did that, though. It's worked perfectly until now. Cormac. What would happen if the numbers on your machine really were accurate? Oh, that's not possible, Hannah. The there's no metal anywhere that contains such magnetism. Well, just suppose. <laughs> well, you could 
You could zap yourself anywhere in the world, just like that. Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere there were rocks contained the same sort of metal. So even South America or Australia? It'd be like walking through a door. Thanks, Cormac. Sorry about your machine. close to the wind there, girly. You've got two full hours to do, right? And I don't want to see one piece of little left on this beach. You owe me big time for this, Hannah. Yeah, that was a good game. A uh, pity we lost, though. So. I couldn't care less. Tara, I'll go and check on Hannah, see how she's feeling. I'd be really interested to uh, to look at your machine. Tara. Oh, deep down, she she is a real science freak. Tara. Oh, well, she's she's very shy about it. In fact, she'll probably deny it. But if you could explain how it works, it would give her such a buzz. Tara. She's coming. I'll leave you to it, and make it as technical as you like. She loves that stuff. Excuse me, Cormac. Do you mind? This is it. Fundamentally, it's very simple. You just have to make sure that the magnetic fields are harnessed so that the opposing forces can be maximized. What? Yeah, I based it on this theory I found in Future Science magazine. Do you, do you subscribe? Uh, Cormac, why are you talking to me? Would you like to see the magnetic polarizers or, or the sensor pads? I couldn't care less about sensor pads or polarizers or anything else. But you don't mean that. Read my lips, Cormac. Absolutely nothing you have to say could ever be of interest to me. Ever. Now, can I pass, please? Sure. At any time, any time you want to borrow a copy of Future Science, just ask. You awake, Hannah? You won't believe what just happened. That geek, Cormac, actually tried to pick me up. I mean, as if. How could he even think that someone like me could be remotely interested in someone like him? I was almost going to scream when I thought, well, calm down, Tara. You know the effect you have on boys, even losers like Cormac. So I just kept my cool and, like, you know, humoured him. Uh, by the way, Miss Murphy wants to know how you are. <coughs> oh, that's disgusting. Please try cough towards the window. And, uh, watch out for creepy Cormac. He's so desperate he'll latch on to anyone. Even you, Hannah. You should be helping with this. I don't know. I thought he was with Hannah. Hmm. Didn't see her arrive. She's down on the beach. It's her last cleaning session. Oh, poor thing. Why don't you ask her out for a drink when she's finished? Sure. No!
pleased with yourself then? Oh, Jackie, hi. So, you actually got through it. How, how did you know? I saw you. Uh, y you did? Mm hmm. We all did, and we're very pleased you made it. But, but, but I, I thought that... Nothing to worry about. Bit of beach cleaning's no big deal. Beach cleaning. Anyway, you finished now. I, I finished. Do you want that drink? You must be so thirsty after all that work, eh? Oh, I'd love a drink. Thanks. Go in a hurry. She uh, had some important family business. Hey, Brett. What are you doing here? Oh, well, that's charming. The poor girl's been cleaning the beach for two hours and she's hot and tired. Oh, is that right? Yes. <laughs> Funny that, because so am I. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get yourself a glass. Actually, um, Brett said he was going to lend me a book. I did? Yeah, y you know that novel? On magnetic attraction. Oh, yeah, that I, I think I've got downstairs. You've got magnetic attraction. That's too girly for you. How did you get here? I couldn't get the portal open. Sorry, it's my fault. Why not I had to do it now? Do what? Open the portal from my side. How? It's magnetic. Cormac showed me how. Cormac? You told Cormac about it? Well, no. See, we were doing a science experiment. Why? You were supposed to be here finishing your beach duty. Oh, I'm sorry. Guess which one I thought was more important. Well, never mind, okay? Just come and see it. It's completely fantastic. As soon as Cormac explained it to me, I realised. The metal shapes magnetise each other once you turn them. Yeah, but the magnetism... It must be huge. Try enormous. Then multiply that by 100. So, why wouldn't the portal work for me? Oh, well... Because I'd taken out one of the portal keys, but at least now we know it opens on both sides. Yeah, but you can't just come in and out. All right, we've got to have rules. Okay, the most important one being that no one can find out about this. Right. Okay, well, I better get going. I'm supposed to be a med sick. Right on. And thanks for doing the beach cleaning today. I really owe you one. You bet you do. What's happened? It's not working. It has to. Well, it's not, is it? Well, it has to work. Otherwise, I'm stuck here. The secret is to screw the tap on really well. That way, the seal stays tight and the water stays in. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you kidding? I've seen Dad do this like a hundred times. I could do it standing on my head. Just don't be long, OK? <laughs> yeah, that should do it. When you opened the pool in Ireland, what did you use to scrape the gunk out the slot? I used a nail file. That must be it. It got stuck on the portal key from the magnetism. The metal must be interfering with the force field somehow. Okay, okay we, we need someone at the school to go down to the cellar and remove the nail file. But they'll discover the portal. No, they won't. I close it. But what if they get suspicious? We need someone we can trust. Like who? Someone who won't blab. Someone... Someone totally reliable. I'm working on a new version of the Magnol Spectrometer. Tell someone who cares, Cormac. Would you like to see the blueprints? What? They're really exciting. Look. I cannot believe this. Hey, Cormac. Oh. What? No one rings me. Who is it? She didn't say. What? 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 She? What? You mean like a girl? Yeah. Wow. A girl. Who is this? It's me, Hannah. Oh. Oh, it's only you. What do you mean, only me? Oh, well, well Mark, Martin said it was a girl, so... What? So what am I, a rhinoceros? Hannah, get on with it. OK, Cormac, sorry. Um, I need to ask you a favour. In a hurry. What kind of favour? Um, well, when I was down in the cellar this morning, looking at the strange carving on the wall, have... Have you noticed it before? Uh, can't say I have. Oh, well, it's really interesting. Anyway, when I was scratching the dirt off, I left in a hurry and the nail file still on the wall. So? 
So, I need you to go down and take it out for me. Well, why can't you get it? Because, because I'm supposed to be in bed sick. Yeah, you know, what if Miss Murphy sees me? She'll, she'll go berserk. Well, we'll get it tomorrow then. No, Cormac, you don't understand, okay? It, it's Tara's. And, you know, if she realizes that it's gone, she'll make my life miserable for weeks. Oh, oh okay. Okay, I see the problem. Okay, so, so you'll do it for me? Yeah. Where are you ringing from? Cormac, please. Okay, will you do it or not? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Um, after you take the nail file out of the wall, um, you need to send an email for me to bread at dropmail.com. Uh, yeah. Saying what? Just Hannah says hi. Fair enough. Okay. Thanks a lot, Cormac. Leave it to me, so. Bye. Bye. It's a work, won't it? It has to. Otherwise, I'm dead meat. Another fire drill. No questions, just move. So it is a fire drill. It's bad enough that I have to do this silly job without having to answer silly questions too. Fire warden, anyone here? Why are you hanging around the girls' bathroom? Uh, well, I, well, I had to get something, and uh, I found this. That's mine. Yes. Where did you get it? Well, not not in the cellar. Somewhere, somewhere completely different. Come on, out. Cormac, I think it's time we face this problem square on. Um, what problem? When you look at me, you see someone who's who's beautiful and popular and got loads of personality, right? Uh. And that's why you've fallen in love with me. Sorry. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. I know the effect I have on boys. Look, I'm not embarrassed. You just... You need to find someone who's a bit... further down the food chain. You what? know? Someone you can talk to, share things with. Looks aren't everything, you know. Yeah, certainly not in your case, anyway. Look... I know I... it's tough for you. The girl of your dreams, so near yet so far. But remember... Real love is about giving people the space they need, right? Here, keep this as a memento. Come on, keep moving in an orderly fashion! Supposing he decides to investigate the portal key. What's that? It's the water pipes. What's that noise? It's just the water pressure building up. It'll be fine. I was in a total panic. No worries. You weren't the only one. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Check your class groups. Make sure everyone's here. Hormuck, come on, please. 
Tara, have you got everyone checked off your list? Everyone except Hannah. Right. Good job, everyone. Tara, well done. I want everyone to go back inside in an orderly fashion and go back to your classes. I went down to the showers and <laughs> the fire alarm went off and I, I panicked and got wet. But I checked the showers. See, that's your fault for distracting me. Actually, that was a very sensible thing to do, Hannah. But thankfully, it was a false alarm. So you can go and get out of those damp clothes immediately. Yes, miss. <laughs> Everyone else, back to class, please. Just between you and me, I know what Cormac's been getting up to. You, you, you do? <laughs> He's completely loopy about me. I sorted him out, though. But, um... Be careful of him. He's completely weird. Cormac, um... Thanks so much for your help. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. That's... that's okay. Oh! Could you give this to Tara, please? Oh, um... Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she gave me that, but I... I don't want anything of hers. <laughs> uh, Tara's not your type? Be careful of her. She's completely weird. Feed the animals. Not at this short notice. But, Dad, you promised. Sorry, darling. Uh, I have to run. Bye, bye. Hey, Hannah. What time's your dad getting here? Oh, he's not now. Oh, typical. Parents are so unreliable. Anything you want from Dublin? No, thanks anyway. If you think of anything over the weekend, just call me. Will do. <laughs> Mum's got a new credit card. It'll be a riot. Bye. Another good weekend with everyone away. Yeah, thought I might go check out the coast. Did you know? Yeah, well, apart from the school, I've hardly seen anything of Ireland. Oh. You're missing out on some beautiful scenery, lad. So I've heard. It's absolutely essential you should see it. Great. Well, I'll go clean up then. Ah, uh, but not this weekend. What? But you said... Sorry, Brett. Miss Murphy's given us a list of chores as long as your arm. It's not fair. Everyone else gets a holiday, but we don't. Look at the draw, my boy. No use mourning, though. we just got to get stuck into it. Sorry, Dad couldn't come. I so wanted to show you the coast. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Seamus has been working the whole time. You're kidding. No such luck. Oh, looks like a fun weekend for both of us then. Okay, I've finished here for the day. Do you want to come back to Perth for a while? Sure. Aren't your parents ever suspicious about me? Don't be silly, they think you're great. Anyway, why should they suddenly become suspicious? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, here's this Irish girl popped up out of nowhere. No friends, no family, no address. Yeah, but they don't know that. Well, I'm thinking it's only a matter of time before they do. <sighs> Look, Hannah, we've managed to bluff our way to things so far. All right, we'll just keep bluffing. It's easy. Not Brett, your family aren't dumb. They're bound to want some answers sooner or later. Listen, Hannah, I know my family, all right? And there's going to be no problem, so stop worrying. Thinking about taking New York on a trip to Rottnest Island tomorrow? You guys want to come? Oh, yeah, wicked. I'll be in that. Yeah, cool. Hey, can Hannah come too? Sure. Don't see why not. Meredith's not coming. Plenty of room on board. Cool. I've never been on the yacht before. See? There you go. Weekend planned after all. We'll need your father's permission. Oh, he won't mind. Oh, even so, I'd like to know if someone was taking a child of mine sailing. 
Oh, no, she's not, baby. It's a matter of safety and politeness. Now, <clears throat> what's his number? Oh, he's not going to be home now. Well, get him to give me a call this evening, all right? Okay. I mean, come to think about it, it's about time we had a chat. All this time, we've never met him, never spoken to him. Yes, like, like your dad doesn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> I know my family. They won't be a problem. Uh, it's not my fault. It's your fault. You said your dad would call. What else was I supposed to say? Anything but that. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just say I changed my mind. I can't go say it. Come on, you can't be miserable all weekend. We'll think of something. Oh, what are you going to do? Pretend to be my dad? Of course, Hannah can go to Rodness Island. And while you're there, do us all a favor and leave her there as well. Pathetic. Now, see. If you can do an Irish accent like that guy, then we'd be in business. Yeah, we would, wouldn't we? I was just joking. <laughs> You're not seriously going to ask him. Brett! Oh, that was fantastic. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> Very funny now, buzz off. No, no, I'm being serious. You're the best busker I've seen here this year. Name's Fergus O'Flanagan from Nimerick. I'm Brett Miller. And this is Hannah O'Flaherty. She's my mate from Ireland. Oh, Flaherty, eh? Are you from the West, then? Well, I go to school in the West, but I'm from Dublin. How long have you been out here in Perth? Uh, listen, Fergus, I was wondering if you could give us a bit of help. It's... Uh, it's kind of a family matter. I don't do weddings. Sorry. Did one once. It wasn't pretty. No. <laughs> We want you to be her dad. Your what? Let me get this right. Your dad is in hospital with laryngitis, and his leg in a cast from a skiing accident, and his hand is all banged up so he can't write. Yep. Hey, you've got it. And you need his permission to go on this boat trip. I know it sounds pretty incredible, but... It sounds completely incredible. But, Fergus, I mean, you're such a great actor. We figured you could pull it off. You're right, but I'll need something more than flattery. That's five bucks, Ian. Not as good as ten. You sure you can do this? Oh, aye. Not a bother. We'll have this behind us in a jiffy. What do you think would be better? A husky older voice or a more educated voice? Like, do whatever voice you like, as long as it's Irish. Maybe my own voice is best. Hello, Belclare Restaurant. Hello, is this Mrs. Payne? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Fergus O... What did you say my name was? Flaherty. Fergus O. Flaherty. I'm the father of my daughter. Hannah. My daughter, Hannah. Oh, Hannah's father. It's so good to finally talk to you. Fergus, is it? That's right. Hannah's been spending quite a bit of time over here over the last few weeks. She's a lovely girl. So glad you think so. I just wanted to let you know that it's perfectly all right for her to join you on that boat trip tomorrow. Not a bother now, long as she brings back some nice fish. Wonderful. I'm sure it's going to be a fun trip. The kids love going to Rotnest. Rotnest. Oh, beautiful place. I've been... been meaning to go there myself, but not got round to it yet. Well, why don't you come along? I'd love to come. That's very kind. But sure as day, I'd get seasick. And I'd spoil it for everyone. Thanks for the invite, though. Well, why not come over for dinner when we get back? Dinner, you say? Say six o'clock? Sounds good to me. Six it is. <laughs> Bye now. We're on for dinner tomorrow. What? That was not part of the plan. No, you're not coming to dinner. This is going to be a disaster. How so? Look, Fergus, this isn't what we agreed. You're going to have to bring her back and cancel it. Ah. No, just tell her something else came up. Yeah, it's so important an appointment or something. Okay, very good, very good. Bye now. Well? I'm bringing dessert. What? What have you done? One, I happen to make a mean raspberry pie. And two, don't you be raising your voice to your dad. Besides, I got you on that boat trip, didn't I? How 
was I to know the guy's a fruitcake? It's not my fault he went nuts. Why is it that every time we start off with a small, little white lie, it becomes a big lie? And then, then it becomes a catastrophe. How else are we going to protect the portal? Sometimes I think we'd be better off just telling the whole world. No way. Look, just hang in there. We'll get through this one way or another. Ah, there you are, Brett. Right. First job is to get up in the room and clean out those gutters. Follow me. Don't forget, you're going on the yacht tomorrow. It'll be great. There's a chance. Wimp. Hi. You okay? Yeah, a bit tired though. Shame it's worked me like a slave all last night. Hear any more from Fergus? Just forget about him, okay? We've got a whole day of fun ahead of us. Come on. Hurry up, you luck. It'll be dark before we get there at this rate. Was I right or was I right? You were right. I told you. Listen, I've been thinking about later today. And? And, you know, all we have to do is make sure Fergus doesn't say too much. That way you can't mess things up. It's easier to stop a herd of rampaging buffalo than to stop Fergus talking. Yeah. Still. I suppose if we're there to control the conversation, you know, make him agree with everything, then we should be fine. Okay, so first, some intense coaching, then constant supervision while he's there. Yep. Right. Right. We're cheering. So, your dad is 43 years old, right? Yes, and he works in a pet shop in Dub... Dubbo! <laughs> it's in Western New South Wales. Uh-huh. Hmm. This is the guy that's in hospital with laryngitis and a broken arm, right? Does this guy even exist? Of course he exists. But because these people have never met him, I could just kind of make stuff up about him. No. <laughs> Under no circumstances are you to do that, okay? Just go along with whatever we say and everything will be all right. I've got to go. Are you going to be all right by yourself for a while? Yeah, I'm going to have to be. Okay, so... What kind of clothes will my dad wear? that we could buy for $12.85. I know a very good opportunity shop near here. Some of their clothes are actually quite stylish. I've got a lot to do, but this won't take long. Your dad's got some dress sense. Hey, now remember, let me and Brett do the talking. You just go along with whatever we say. You can trust me completely. Hi, Hannah. Hello, I'm Jackie. Fergus O'Flenna Flaflarte. Delighted to meet you, Jackie. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, too. Hannah's told me so much about you. Me, too. Uh, by the way, the way I said my name just there, that is the old, traditional, ancient Celtic way of saying our name. O'Flenna Flaflarte. Exactly. Very good. You must have some Irish in your family, huh? 
that I'm aware of. <laughs> and here is the homemade raspberry pie that I promised. Nothing but the finest. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Thanks. Come and meet the rest of the family. Wow, an amazing place you have here. I mean it. This is great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good day. I'm great. Where's Brett? He isn't here? No, I thought he was with you. Oh, well, he's probably just fallen asleep. Oh, typical. I'll go and check. I'll go. And Brett... Dad? So what's for lunch, Jackie? I've put together a platter of local savory. Brett! 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 You haven't seen Hannah anywhere, have you? Hannah? Yes. Me? Yes. No, I haven't seen her in a while. I just know anywhere she is. Well, if you see her, could you tell her that her father's here? Her father? Closed up shop for the day and drove down here. Surprise little visit. Yeah, you're not wrong. Sorry? Ah, uh, she'd be surprised, all right. Amazed. So, if you see Hannah, could you tell her to come to my office? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Would you like a cup of tea, Mr. Flaherty? Thanks, Miss Murphy. Tea sounds great. Disgusting. Go and wash them immediately. <laughs> I'll say. It's not often you get to meet a vacuum cleaner salesman from the Congo. That must have been a challenge. Well, you know, there's dust everywhere. That's what we always said to people. You never told us these stories before, Hannah. Well, that's my dad for you. He's, he's just full of surprises. This looks marvelous. I think that's the last surprise tonight, Dad. Ah, Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. How you doing, Mr. O'Flaherty? Why, hello there. Uh, Brett, isn't it? Yes. Well, now that we're all here, dig in, everybody. Can't let it sit around and get hot. <laughs> oh, how nice. Hey, Fergus, I think Brett likes you. Look what he wrote on Hannah's plate. Dad, OK. <laughs> I'm touched. Thank you, Brett. I reckon you're OK, too. You're welcome. So tell us about some more of the weird jobs you've had. Yeah. Right, so after that, I became a funambulist. A what? A tight rope walker. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to go and get the last of the salad. And I'll just go to the bathroom. There are only very few positions available for tightrope walkers. I don't think I have to point out to you the competition is tough. <laughs> What's going on? It's about your dad. I know he's completely out of control, but look, there's nothing I can do about it. On him. You real dad. What about my real dad? He's at Keith's right now. He came for a surprise visit. Miss Murphy's looking for you all over the place. What? Look, you've got to get back there now. Okay, well, you stay in mind, Fergus, and I'll be back as soon as I can. <sighs> Dad! Surprise! <laughs> you were beginning to think you were lost, Hannah. Oh, I just went for a walk. <laughs> it's such a lovely morning. Well, I'll leave you two to your family reunion. Thanks, Miss Murphy. So, um, what happened? I, I thought you said you weren't able to make it this weekend. Well, I found someone to look after the animals tonight, so I figured, what the heck? What a surprise, eh? Oh, <laughs> you can say that again. Thought we might go into Galway, have a nice lunch. You haven't eaten yet, have you? Lunch? Um, no. <laughs> Good. I'm ravenous. Well, let's just have a bit of a catch-up first. It's been so long since we've talked really properly. <laughs> 
You have done an incredible amount in your life, Fergus. You know what they say. A second wasted is a second wasted. <laughs> <laughs> so how old are you? Wayne? Would you believe only 30? Um, but if Anna's 50... No, you didn't let me finish. I'm 37. <sighs> Oh, well, uh, yeah. All this food. Well, I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself here. And you're looking so well. Almost a bit of a suntan there. Oh, well, you know me. Always out and about. Indeed. Now I'm starving. Lunch? Uh, Dad, I, I've just got to do something. Um, I'll be right back. What are you doing back here? You're supposed to be babysitting Curtis. And I'm, you gotta get back and get him out of there. All right, he's gonna end up telling him everything. And what am I gonna do about my real dad? I'll stall him. Hey. No ideas yet, just go. When Hannah turned eight, that's when she got really... No, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. It's just too embarrassing. Oh, please. No, no, no. Go on. Well, okay. Ah, uh, she... Hi there. Ah, uh, she was a sweet kid. A little blessing, always a joy, an absolute angel. Nah, they're always sweet when they're young, aren't they? And then... Dad, do you think we ought to get going? Absolutely not. There's no way I can leave now. What about my raspberry pie that I promised for dessert? Oh, yes, of course. So anyway, um, this guy couldn't get a job as a, as a tightrope walker. So he... He moved to the Congo and he sold vacuum cleaners. Can you believe that? Not really. No. It's amazing what some people do with their lives, isn't it? Yeah, very interesting. What on earth has happened to Hannah? I'm beginning to get worried about her. Ah, oh, she's probably just off doing something important. You're always busy out, Hannah. Yeah, still, I think I should go look for her. All right, well, I'll come along. Hey, would you like to see our equipment shed along the way? Are, are you in the mowers? Uh, no. Zero interest. Right, well, uh, forget the mower then. That pie was out of this world. It's been so much fun meeting you, Mr. Flannaplerty. Please call me Fergus, and thank you for a wonderful meal. And we'll be seeing. Oh, Dad, look, it's one of those birds you like. Which birds? I'll show you on the way. Bye, Jackie, Craig. Bye. Bye. Thanks again, then. Irish. Fergus, great job. I, mean, I can't thank you enough. Your father's not really in hospital, is he? Trust me, I know a lie when I say one. You wouldn't believe me if I told you the truth. throw yourself through the portal quite so hard. Come on. I'll just turn myself inside out trying to keep your dad happy. He's still there. What about Fergus? No, he's gone. We did it. Well, I better get going. Me too. Sorry I had to rush off, Dad. It's just... I would have been in trouble if Miss Murphy found out I hadn't done those chores. <laughs> never realized you were so busy around here, even at the weekends. Oh, <laughs> never a dull moment. So, what was that you were saying about the Congo? Or... Uh, wrong person, I think. You must be mixing me up with that young handyman who was around earlier. He was prattling on about it, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, must have been him. Ready for that meal, then? Whatever you want, Dad. The rest of the day is yours. Fergus seems really nice, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, um... He's quite a character. I think now that we've gotten to know him, we really should have him round more often. I've invited him around for this weekend. You don't mind, do you? Come on, guys. Get into it. Pass the tin up here, please. 
Lift it. I'm not here to do your work, too. No one's asking you to. Lift it, I said. I am. It's all right, guys. I got it. You are hopeless, you know? Me? Hopeless. Right. Chuck us that sleeping bag, will you, Wayne? At school, we learn how to deal with potential aggressors. Oh, good, good. Well, you can deal with Wayne. They call it rock and water. Rock and water? You're supposed to centre yourself, make eye contact, and just tell them that you don't want to fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Wayne will listen to me. Not. It won't work with that attitude, you know. What won't? Your male bonding weekend. Meredith, it's a camping trip. Oh, yeah? Then how come me and Jackie aren't going? Just like that, I guess. I think it's the perfect way for you and Wayne to really learn to like each other. Yep. Except for one thing. What? We'll probably kill each other first. We'd be better off without him. Wayne. What? you got to think positive, mate. Get into it. Can't you just smell the campfire? No. Yep. This is going to be real fun. Don't be so negative. You'll have a great time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Just keep centred, Brett. Imagine you and Wayne are soulmates. Meredith, give me a break. Oi, can we take that cheesecake? Yeah. No way. Why not? We're living off the land. What? Only way to go in the bush. Time for us to be off too, Meredith. We're getting into some female bond. Doing what? Oh, morning tea, a movie, then some shopping. That's not fair. Why can't we do that? We are going to have a great weekend. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. Mm. Bye, guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be stuck with this great outdoors garbage. Is your dad, Wayne? Just keep out of my space, right? Centred. Brett. Centred. be getting out of this dump. Just imagine, a whole weekend in London. Look at you. Oh, have you seen the shops in the West End? What am I saying? Of course you haven't. They are so brilliant. And the fashions. Honestly, I don't feel out of place there for a second. Mm. Oh. Pity you're not going away. Personally, I couldn't think of anything worse than being stuck here on my own for the weekend. Oh, I'll be okay. In some ways, you know, I really envy you, Hannah. You do? You're just so easy to please. They give you a stupid old book and you're as happy as a puppy. Can you give me a hand? Sure. for the weekend, Hannah. Oh, well, it's not mine. Ah. Martin, could you give this to your father, please? It's a small thank you for his very generous contribution to our refurbishment appeal. You will be seeing him. Oh, we'll be meeting up in Paris, Miss Murphy. Ah, Paris. So you'll be doing the art museums then? Oh, crash and smash. Martin? Dad saw this go-kart he wants to buy. Whole family's going over to play Crash and Smash. Have you done it? Can't say that I have, no. <laughs> well, if you're ever in Paris, let me know. I'll arrange it. Thank you. You're not going anywhere, Hannah? Oh, no. Um, I've got two books to read and plenty of sleep to catch up on. It'll be nice having the school to myself. Well, I'm rowing in a boat, if you need me for anything. Oh, thank you, Mr McCracken. <laughs> I'll let Cook know to keep some meals out for you, then. Oh, well, you're in for a treat, then. <laughs> well, I'm off to town. See you later, Hannah. Oh, what's your problem? That's my seat. Not this trip, it's not. The Esky's going there. In the back, for both of you. You're joking, right? We are going away to get to know each other. So? So, in the back. Together. <laughs> Make your elbow. Why? I'm not touching you. Stay on your side. Wayne, Brett. Keith school. Anna, is that you? Yeah, I'm just ringing to see if everything's okay. Oh, everything's fine, Mr. McCracken. Good. Well, if it's okay with you, I'll just stay in town to watch a match in Nocton's. I'll call in to see you when I get back. Well, um, actually, there's no need. 
Uh, I've had a last-minute invite to stay with some friends tonight. Oh, that's great, Hannah. I'll see you tomorrow, then. OK. Enjoy the match. Will do. Bye. Hey, Cormac. What are you still doing here? Installing my new electromagnetic security system. Sounds impressive. No one can get in without the code. This system is armed. <laughs> cool. This system is disarmed. But, um, why would anyone want to break into your room anyway? Well, I've got some valuable stuff in there. Like? Like my security system. This stuff does not come cheap, you know. So, um, let me get this straight, Cormac. You're putting in a security system to protect your valuables, but the only valuable you have is your security system. Yeah, it's all about planning for the future. Right. Well, have fun at science camp. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks. Don't miss your train. This system is armed. Remote? Did you expect a theme park? Amazing, isn't it? I doubt if anyone's been out here for 20 years. Don't blame them. Gum trees, dirt, the smell of the great Australian bush. Mate, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Everything's your fault, remember? So keep your distance. It's just a bit of rough road, guys. <laughs> You'll soon get used to it.
Okay. Where do you suggest? Here? Maybe. What about you, Wayno? Maybe here. Aha, uh -huh. here's a tip. Before you choose your tent site, you always have to check the wind direction. <sighs> What's he doing? <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay. The wind is coming from that direction, which means we have to pitch the tent with the door facing that way. Oh! Oh! Hey, you are right? Dad, Craig, Craig, can you hear me? Yeah. Here we go. Gwen. Gwen. Stay. You've got to get him to a hospital. No, we can't move him. Why not? That's what they tell you in first aid. We might do more damage to his back or something. He hit his head, not his back. All I know is that we shouldn't move him. All right. You stay with him, and I'll go get help. Oh, you can't drive. Who says? You haven't got a license. You haven't even got your L plates. I know how to drive. It's not that hard. Do sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I've seen it done plenty of times. All right, hit it. All right. I tried something and didn't you stand there panicking? I didn't panic. And you'd been not telling anyone I Just did. Just don't blame me, all right? Daddy's oh. going to be furious when he oh. sees what you well, did. Well, I did. Oh. Oh. Dad! Craig? Wait, Craig. Dad! Craig? Craig. What are we going to do? Relax. We won't let anything happen to him. We've got to get him to a doctor. <laughs> sleeping bag for him to lie on. Nah, yours won't hold his weight. You reckon? Yep. It's cotton, mine's silk. It's a lot stronger. Just 
dump these in my room. Oh, what do you want to eat? Cheesecake. OK. Pig face. Pig face. Pig face. Pig face. There you are. How did you get out? Oh, you naughty boy. Oh, your room's looking neat. It's always tidy. Only Pig Face One makes a mess, <laughs> don't you? Well, your cheesecake's ready. Oh, great. Hold your end up. The range too high. Okay. Like putting me. <clears throat> Thanks. Kill for some of your mum's cheesecake right now. Yeah, it'd be all right, wouldn't it? She's a good cook, Jackie. Yeah, she won the award last year. Yeah? yeah the restaurant really took off. Didn't think I'd like living there much, you know, but. It's all right. Especially since you scored my room, eh? <laughs> yeah, well... Oh, no need to apologise. Wasn't going to apologise. That's all right, then. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. I bet they're still arguing. Mm, poor Craig. I told him it wouldn't work, but he insisted. Why do some guys love to fight? If we knew the answer to that, we would know the answer to half the world's problems. Which half? The half that doesn't involve women. Hey, wait! Wait, it's a truck! Quick, stick your hand out! Don't worry, Dad. We'll have you in the hospital in no time. It was in Brett's room. This system is disarmed. <gasps> for you all evening. Aren't you supposed to be at some science yoke? Yeah, well, I got locked in. Are you trying to kill me, laddie? I'm too old to be playing cops and robbers games. Sorry, Mr McCracken. In future, leave the security systems to the experts. 
Right, Mr. McCracken. Knocked himself out. It's just a bump. Let me see. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. It's all right. We got him out. The boys were great. So what happened? I just got a little over enthusiastic. That's all. But uh, the boys looked after me. Now they were great. Real, real team effort. I'm very proud of you both. Uh, it all worked out exactly as I planned. Sounds intriguing. Sure. I'll tell him. Bye. Ah, that was Hannah. I'm to tell you that she can explain and can you come over when you're finished? Finish what? Reconstructing your room. What? It looks like a tornado hit it. What are you doing in there? I'm gonna kill you this time. I think this is funny. Uh, it's pretty pathetic, actually. Why didn't you follow the instructions? You did it on purpose. Wayne, I don't know anything about it, all right? That's honest. Tell it to your lawyer, dead man. I wonder, expect it when you least expect it. Back to normal. I knew you guys were soulmates. We get back in time. Now we've missed that science test. Hey, I would have been able to get us home if you hadn't been complaining the whole trip. Oh, your tracker instincts. What a pro. There's nothing wrong with that map, Hannah. No, except for two hours you're leading us into a chocolate smudge. Listen, I just spent half a day showing you round. Most of which was spent watching some stupid cricket match. And it was a good game. It's all Meredith. Ah! Birds you don't want to hear anywhere near a restaurant. We've got roaches. They carry bacteria and protozoa in their legs. Gastroenteritis, dysentery. Oh, I'm out of here. Ash! Oh, and I've got to get going if I don't want to get in trouble. Ooh. Miss Murphy will kill me for missing that test. You'll be fine. So I'll see you soon then? Yeah, not too soon. Well, what's your problem? You're my problem. Whenever you're around, I seem to do nothing but land in hot water. And that's my fault. I don't know whose fault it is. But maybe you should just stay away for a while. No. No, I can't. I've got to bring my board through later for Cormac to fit the fins. Fins? You know, forget it. OK? I don't want to know. Hannah! I know there's an elaborate excuse percolating in that mind of yours. Not at all, Miss Murphy. Um, I missed the science test through my own stupidity and I accept full responsibility. You do? Absolutely. And I plan to make up for it. Good. How? Ah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm still working that out. Perhaps I can help you then. Really? You know that your science practical is coming up? Yes. <laughs> it would be in your interest to come up with a really impressive project. How impressive? Impressive enough to make me forget about you missing your test. That impressive? It's time to put that brain of yours to use, Hannah. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. <sighs> That's all. think of anything to do for the science practical. I need some inspiration. I'd help you out, but I'm uh, kind of busy. Busy with something that looks scientific? It's a lie detector. Are you serious? It's perfect. It'll knock Miss Murphy's socks clean off. We can work on it together. I don't want to uh, seem 
ungrateful, but I don't actually need your help. Of course you do. And what exactly is your contribution going to be? Well, um... You need a gimmick. See, a lie detector's boring. But, say, a talking lie detector. Talking? It'd be a world first. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I would need a computer voice module. I happen to have just the thing. Meredith, don't you think you're overreacting? I'm not leaving this room until all the roaches are gone. No way. OK, well, just give me a shout if you need anything. OK. Oh, watch where you're going, will ya? Why is everything around here always my fault? Because you're a loser! All right, you two, listen. I need your help to get rid of these roaches. No, sorry, Jackie, can't help. There's a guy in town selling his entire collection of model biplanes. Can't miss this one. Great. Sure, but can I do it later? How much later? Just a few minutes, all right? OK, but don't forget, this is important. All right, Mum, I won't forget. Checkmate. Congratulations. Your skill is astonishing. Great. That's a terrific voice. Yeah. I thought you'd like it. Just have to work on getting the voice module out, though. While I go get some gear for Sylvia from the science lab. Who's Sylvia? Oh. The Synthetic Intelligent Lie Verification Interface Appliance. Sylvia, for short. Hmm. Good job I found a girl's voice, then. Come on! Just come apart, will you? What is the problem? I'm so sorry, darling. Darling? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Didn't we agree to stay away from each other? Hey, I'm not hassling you. I'm looking for Cormac. He reckons he's got a super new idea for a wing fin system. Well, it's gonna have to wait. Cormac and I are building a lie detector. But... don't tell anyone. It's meant to be a secret. I'm not gonna tell anyone, but you better hope it doesn't work. And why's that? Because we've got a few secrets of our own that we wouldn't want people to know the truth about. Don't be silly. I'm not gonna tell anyone about the portal. Fine, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Uh, tell Cormac I'll, I'll be back later. Hmm. Well, what do you know? We need something on which to display the swimming trunk. Whoa! I'm sorry, Miss Smith. Brett, what on earth have you got there? This? Yes, that! I uh, found this in the, um, in, in, in the stables and I thought it might be useful. That isn't the very thing. A surfing plank. Surf board. Actually. And perfect for what we were talking about, Miss Murphy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. P perfect for what? Don't you worry your head about that. But that belongs to... someone. Oh, if it was in the stable, it would have been there for ages. No one's going to claim it. Great. Meredith, we've just had a few cockroaches, not a plague of rats. You can come out now. Red? Brett, hello. I know you're in there. Why is everyone locking themselves up today? Sorry, Mum, no, no. You promised you'd help me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will, honest. Well, it's too late now. I've had to do it all myself. I'm sorry, Mum. Oh. We're ready for our first test. Is all this stuff, um, necessary? The headband, moisture sensitive. This measures blood pressure. Sylvia will detect an increase in either. Plus, when she's finished, she'll detect fluctuations in your vocal patterns too. Well, you've thought of everything, Cormac. Let's get started. What is your name? Hannah O'Flaherty. That is the truth. Where are you right now? O'Keefe School. That is the truth. When did you last leave the school grounds? Last weekend. That is a lie. No, it's not. I... I went into town with you, remember? Oh. Well, it's not... it's not perfect. Let's try a question with a negative answer. <clears throat> 
Have you been outside the school in the last two days? No. That is a lie. This isn't working. Um, maybe I'm too sweaty or something. No, it's got to be more than that. I'll recheck the uh, wiring. Mom! Mom, I've got good news and bad news. Hit me with the bad. The bad news is the cockroaches are still around. Oh, no! But I know where they're coming from. Wayne's room? Oh! I told him before about leaving food scraps around. Wayne! Wayne! <sighs> oh, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Huh? What is that lizard doing in here? Uh, he belongs to Nerida. Who? Nerida. It's a girl from school. I'm, I'm looking after him while she's away. His name's Morrison. And you've been leaving the lid off his food jar. Well, it must have just come off. Yeah, right. It unscrewed itself and then rolled across the floor all on its own. Yeah, probably. Look, it doesn't matter how it happened. The point is we have to fumigate the place. And what am I supposed to do? You and Morrison will just have to bunk down with Brett for a while. No. No, Mum, no way. That's Brett! Not... <laughs> Checkmate. Game over. <sighs> wow! Sylvia, you are the best opponent I've ever had. Thank you, Cormac. I should be. You built me. Well, <laughs> I've certainly got you rigged to tell the truth. You have one of the finest minds of your generation. You have really responded to that artificial intelligence program I gave you. I wonder what would happen if I gave you a further boost. <laughs> This is the pit. Have an issue with you. Yeah? Well, it's not my idea of a good time either. No sudden movements and no yelling. Me and Morrison need our rest. Just wash your feet. No story. No, 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 the cockroaches. Mum's got to bomb his room. Look, um, I'll come through after the science practical. We can talk then. No, Bye. Hannah, don't use the portal. Hannah! Hannah! Look, I still think I should operate the detector and, and you be the subject. No, this is perfect. Now, what age are you, Cormac? I am 14. The subject is telling the truth. Huh? I souped up her vocabulary last night. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Now, are you very intelligent? Uh, sure. Well, well, I suppose. The subject is telling the truth. See? It's working brilliantly. Are you a genius? What? What kind of question is that? I don't know. The subject is lying. OK. I'll rephrase the question. Do you think you're a genius? Just ask something else. Just answer the question. No, I don't think I'm a genius. The subject is lying. Look, stop it, Hannah. I thought we were mates. Mate. Mate. Checkmate in two. Night. See what you've done? You've confused her. Paul to Queen's Night three. Well, can't you fix it? Takes night. Check. Hannah, I was told I could find you here. I believe you're working on your project with Cormac. That's right. And it'll all be ready for the practical this morning? Oh, absolutely. No problems. Good. I look forward to seeing something impressive. Thanks, miss. I should have just done something with frogs. Who is it? I don't know. Hello, Wayne speaking. Is this Wayne Payne, the mole plane collector? Might be. Who wants to know? Um, this is Seamus McCracken. Who? Uh, Seamus McCracken. I heard you're in the ball of planes and I've given some away, so... Are you interested? Depends. How much? 
Oh, nothing. I'm giving them away for free. Well, look, I might be able to take them off your hands. Whereabouts are you? A 45, um... A Henry Street. I'm a busy man, Seamus. I can't just drop everything and rush around. Give me ten minutes. OK, I'll see you then, all right? Yes. You've got 20 minutes. Think you can fix it? Look, it's fine. Really, everything's uh, fine. Everything's fine. See? <laughs> what a waste of time. What did she just say? Nothing. Nothing. Look, it's going to be OK, I, uh, I promise. Hey, what are you doing? That's my bike. Out of my way, loser. I've got business to do. Sounds important. Way out of your league, Junior. Have fun. Not bad. Even though I do say so myself and shouldn't. What have you done? <laughs> Told you you'd be amazed. Did you have to split it like that? First class, isn't it? Used to be. What? I've, I've got to go, Seamus. Don't forget, we're doing the back hedges today. See you there in half an hour. We're running out of time. Is it fixed? I, uh, I added an artificial intelligence module to uh, Sylvia, and I... I thought it would make her more perceptive, but, um... But what? Well, I, I was working on her chess game with her, and now, while the lie detection software is running, the artificial intelligence keeps trying to override it. What does all that mean? Basically, Sylvia regards everything else as an interruption to playing chess. Look, look, look. Do you mind? I'm planning my next move. Cormac? This is going to work, isn't it? As long as things stay simple, she'll stay in lie detector mode. But if uh, if she gets confused, I'm I'm not sure what'll happen. Well, then we better make sure she doesn't get confused. I can do. Let's just hope it's enough. Yeah, I need to speak to you. Well, not now. Did you get that email that I sent you? Can't you see I'm busy? It's Wayne. He's moved into my room with a lizard. So the portal's out of bounds. Fine. I'll call before I use it. It's worse than that. I'm supposed to be trimming hedges with Seamus in 20 minutes, and Wayne can be back in my room at any moment. We'll deal with it later. Right now, I've got bigger problems. Everything ready, Hannah? Oh, um, yes, Miss Murphy. We built a lie detector. Chromex all wired up and the machine is ready to go. That is impressive. Glad you think so. And it would be even more impressive if you tried the lie detector out on someone else. Someone else? Well, it's hardly objective science, is it? I mean, for all I know, Cormac could have rehearsed the answers to fit in with the machine. No way, Miss Murphy. Oh, nevertheless, an independent person is what's called for. Someone who the machine knows nothing about. Someone like... Brett! Hello, dear. Yeah, hi. Uh, is uh, Seamus in? Who? Seamus. What's the shame, dear? I'm here for the planes. Planes? Yeah, the ones for sale. Have you tried the airport? This thing doesn't really work, does it? Look, don't worry. I've told Cormac to ask very simple questions. I've written them down for him. So as long as you don't panic, we'll be fine. Okay. Today, we're going to demonstrate Sylvia. 
The synthetic, intelligent, lie, verification, interface, appliance. You, uh, you ready, Brett? What is your name? Uh, uh, uh Brett, Brett Miller. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> and, uh, you work part-time here at O'Keefe's? Uh, yes, I do. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> of what age are you, Brett? Uh, 15. The subject is telling the truth. Cormac, ask Brett something a little more complex. Oh, but, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Brett, did the Big Bang really happen? <sighs> Perhaps a little less complex than that. Something like, why did Hannah miss her science test? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's lying. <laughs> no idea. The subject is lying. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, was Hannah with you during the test? No, I, 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 I don't know where she was. The subject is lying. No, I'm not. The subject is lying. I think it's about time we were hearing some truth, Brett. OK, uh, here's the truth. We were lost in Australia. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> it was sort of my fault. I, I was using a map drawn onto a napkin and we were heading towards a uh, smudge of chocolate. The subject is telling the truth. Has it stopped working, Cormac? I don't understand. I thought I fixed it. I want to play chess. Not now. You're just chicken. Look, we can play chess later. I want to play chess now, Cormac. Great. Guess I've had it then. The subject is telling the truth. <sighs> Sorry, Miss Murphy. Pity. It was just getting interesting. I guess this means that's a fail. Well, you've both obviously put in a lot of work. And it was quite innovative. Under the circumstances, Hannah, I'll excuse you for missing the test. Thank you, Miss Murphy. <laughs> but don't push your luck anymore. Oh, I won't. I, I promise. Can we play chess now? I want to play chess. Brett, you, you were brilliant. Just had to tell the truth, that's all. But I've got to get back before Wayne gets home. What am I going to tell Seamus? Oh, there you are, lad. Let's get a move on. Those hedges won't trim themselves. Go on. Leave Wayne to me. Honestly, Meredith, it's safe, not a roach in sight. Are you sure? Really? Come and look. Thanks, Jackie. You're my hero. Nice to know someone appreciates the effort. Where are the models, Wayne? Some moron's idea of a practical joke, if I ever find out. Hey, what are you doing with that lizard? Um, probably saving its life. What? Lizards need sunlight and fresh air. Otherwise, they get sick. Any fool knows that. I need that. Yeah, well, it looks like I got to it just in time. But if I was you, I wouldn't take my eyes off it. And he believed you. Well, he knew he wouldn't be too popular with Nerida if he let her lizard die. You are brilliant. The subject is telling the truth. Hi, you have dialed O'Keefe's College. If you wish to speak with a student, please enter their student number and then press hash. Call for Cormac Kelly. Would Cormac Kelly please come to the phone? <sighs> See you, Sylvia. See you, Cormac.